Hey folks, this is the second video. It's a four part video series. I'm talking about different type of sectors to trade during different type of market cycles. So in the first video, I explained that we're going to deal with three types of market cycles. We're going to deal with a gauge. The gauge is going to be the 50 day simple moving average. Again, simple moving average, not exponential, not highs and lows, nothing like that. Just a simple moving average. Why? Because funds use it. I explained that we trade if it's a, if the, if the S&P 500, and that's the index we used, S&P 500. And if the index is trading above the, the 50 day moving average, that means markets are bullish. If it's trading at the 50 day moving average, that means markets are neutral. And if it's, and if price of the S&P 500 is below the 50 day moving average, it means markets are bearish. So now that we know that I wanted to give you a little review. Let's now, and let me step to the side so you can see everything here. Let me go ahead and talk about what happens when markets are bullish. All right. So the S and P 500 has 10 major sectors and I've ex explained all of them to you previously, but right now I'm just going to tell you the best ones to trade during the bullish market cycle. And there's two, one is tech and the second is consumer discretionary. My handwriting sucks. You'll have to excuse me for that. It's very hard for me to write on this board. I'm not used to writing on boards, but tech and consumer discretionary. Those are the two sectors you want to focus on. Why? Tech and consumer discretionary are the two most speculative sectors in the S and P 500. There's 10, there's industrial, there's retail, there's health, but the two of the most speculative ones are tech and consumer discretionary. And typically, when stocks are trading, when the S&P 500 is trading above the 50 day moving average or just begins trading above the 50 day moving average, funds feel very comfortable in the health of the stock market. And whenever that's the case, the first stocks they see upside on is tech and consumer discretionary. So those are the first two sectors that you want to trade or look at when you're looking at the market crossing the S&P 500 crossing above the 50 day moving average. You could look at others, but you will get the biggest bang for your buck in terms of positioning, in terms of risk, in terms of profit potential. If you look at tech and consumer discretionary, if the S and P is trading above the 50 day moving average in the next video, I'll talk about the S and P being neutral, the market being neutral, because if the S and P is neutral, the market's neutral. S and P is pretty much the market. So if the S and P is neutral, I'll tell you the best sectors to trade during a sideways or choppy market. All right. And I hope you like these videos. Please, please like our videos it means a lot to me. I'll talk to you soon.